Hello everyone, my name is Steve with The Wired Flyer, where I break down aviation concepts in a simple to understand way. And today we're going to be going over one of the fundamental principles of aviation, something that you learn early on in ground school, and that is the three axes of rotation. We're going to be going over the three different axes, the movement, around these axes and what they're called, as well as what controls them. So without wasting any more time, let's dive in. So first of all, all three of these axes move through the center of gravity. So if you were to suspend an airplane from a string, that center of gravity where the string is attached to would keep the airplane perfectly balanced. So the three axes of rotation we'll be going over are longitudinal, lateral, and vertical. First off, we have the longitudinal axis, which is an imaginary line drawn from the nose of the aircraft through the fuselage to the tail section. Now, movement around this axis is known as roll, and it's controlled by a yoke, which then controls the ailerons, which are control surfaces attached to the trailing edge of the wing, kind of near the wingtip. And when you turn left on the yoke, the ailerons will roll the airplane in one direction or the other. And this is used for turning the aircraft either left or right. Next up, we have the lateral axis, which is an imaginary line drawn parallel to the wings. Now, movement around this axis is known as pitch. Now, pitch is controlled by the elevators, which are control surfaces attached to the horizontal stabilizer of the tail section. And this is used for climbing and descending. And the last axis is the vertical axis, also known as the normal axis. And this is an imaginary vertical line drawn through the aircraft. Now, movement around this axis is known as yaw. And yaw is controlled by the rudders, which are control surfaces attached to the vertical stabilizer. And you control that as a pilot through foot pedals. Now, yaw doesn't necessarily turn the aircraft like rolling does, but it is used for coordinating turns as well as keeping the airplane straight when you might be in some high wind situations. So there you guys have it. Those are the three axes of rotation of an aircraft. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more aviation content. Until next time, keep learning, stay motivated, and chase your dream. Let's go.